In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be giving you a sample play from my Madden 21 competitor's guide that may interest you in getting the entire scheme. What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my channel. My channel posts four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you improve with some type of tangible tactic, strategy, or play concept that you can apply to your offense. And so if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at the game, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. All right, guys. So Arizona offensive playbook, that's what I'm in on offense and on defense. I'm in the 46. I wanted to give you two sample plays. I'm going to give you one in this video. I'm going to give you one in another one. But these are two sample plays that you can do. You can uh, have from the ebook. These are free, 100% free. What I wanted to do is just show these to you because uh, I think that after seeing kind of some of these basic concepts, what you'll understand is kind of how the ebook is more than just one formation. Um, so we're going to cover uh, dot slot offset uh, or split slot. And this two back is the update that's going into the guide uh, this weekend. But basically we've got um, slot offset, split slot. The guide also will have um, in the future, it will have all the D's double sets. It'll have Y trips. Um, it'll have the cluster sets. It has the spread Y slot, spread Y flex, trips, tray open, empty base, and bunch quad. So it's a really comprehensive ebook. It also has some pistol formations, and we're working right now on some under center stuff for you. So, uh, anyways, here is a play that I really like to use specifically against um, bench press, man zone. Um, it's really a good play for both. You just need to have your best receiver on the left hand side of the screen. So, for the Packers, that's Devontae Adams. And then we're just going to put a quantum of St. Brown here in the slot. And the play is split slot. And the play that we're going to be running is PA wheel. All right. So PA wheel, you really don't have to even make any adjustments to this play. Honestly, um, if you wanted to make some adjustments, I would, I would honestly recommend just running um, an all curl concept on the right hand side of the screen. I think that's going to do just fine for you, but you can leave them on these in breaking patterns as well. And basically what's going to happen here is against man-to-man -man coverage, Devontae Adams is going to get wide open in the middle of the field. So we're going to run that little play action, and you'll see once he gets off over the top of his man, and I don't know why Dunbar picked that. I think Rodgers for some reason didn't get him the ball. Bad pass. Let me show you this one more time. But literally once he gets over that man-to-man uh, -man coverage, you're going to see there it is right there. That's the animation we're looking for. And there you see that's going to kill man-to-man -man coverage. What's cool about it is it's going to kill – every coverage in the game um if they drop both like let's just say they drop both safeties here this is something that i very commonly will see they're going to drop both safeties well literally you can just lob it over the top click on and you're going to have a nice little one play uh, absolute destroying uh, route for whatever reason um i don't know why this corner on the left is playing this so well but typically this is going to be an easy um easy easy dot for some reason he's slowing down at the top of the route but there you see there's one play touchdown if they take the safeties away um that's very very common for me okay and and honestly i will tell you that i play a lot of madden and um a lot of times people will take the safeties away because they think that that shade coverage over top is going to help them well here's what this does against shade coverage over top and this is what i really like about it because of his route running he's just going to torch it and as you see here um, you know, if you have 90 deep route running or more, uh, Devontae Adams is just going to kill any man-to-man -man coverage. What's like partially what makes the Packers such a good team. Now, what about the rest of reads on the play? Um, as far as man coverage goes, you can hit this little quick route to, to Williams. If you have a speed advantage at running back, like if you have a fast running back and maybe he's getting covered by a linebacker, if you, if you let that play action run, you're going to see that it kind of catches up. It kind of catches up, honestly, with the defense. So the defense is going to come down. You see right there, they're coming down. You can get that ball out quick, and most of the time you can actually get that route off, uh, even against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if and, and let's just say, okay, so once the middle of the field opens, then this little end route is going to come right open as well. Because, again, the, the play, the user is going to flow to the left side. This play is meant for the user to flow to the left side. And what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit this little end route. One other thing you might consider doing, okay, one other thing you might consider doing is taking your right side guy and just putting him on a standard curl route if you're facing more man-to-man, -man, and you can lowball that curl route very easily. Okay, so that is man-to-man. -man. Now let me show you cover two. So first and foremost, your top read, your number one read is still going to work. It's going to beat every single zone in the game. As you see, it's basically a little bit of a modified version of the spot route that I talked about in yesterday's video. 
but this is such a consistent play. Literally down and inside, click on, and you're going to get a nice diving animation most of the time. And if you want to, like say they're running a lot of cover three, if you smart route the route, it's going to go a little bit shallower and it's going to cut a little bit sharper. But again, just down and away pass lead, and you're going to be able to fit that in against every zone in the game. Literally, there's not a zone in the game that's going to stop it. They're going to have to use her this route. Um, it's just such a such a good um, such a good route. Now, what they're going to also do, so more than likely they are going to use her, right? Well, what that's going to mean is trouble for them because this little uh, running back double screen here or double flat is going to be a nice little screen. Basically, what you're looking for is you're trying to ask the question, what does that left side corner or that left side flat, does he follow that wheel route? If he doesn't follow the wheel route, take the take the little route to Williams. And honestly, most of the time, most of the time you can take this route to Williams very, very easily. It's a little shovel pass um, from the two back little quick screen and this is what makes this play so good because literally you're just running with the flow of the play let that blocker get out there you set up a block and that's a quick six a quick seven a quick five this is really really effective as well because mabel coverage i want to show this real quick because i've talked about this before but mabel coverage if you don't know what mabel coverage is basically it's when they try to really blanket the outside corners so they'll do something like this right here this is very common. You'll see this defense a lot, especially if you play Madden Ultimate Team. So then he's going to use her with Wagner, and let's just watch what happens here. So basically, they're they're heavy, heavy outside coverage. I actually run this coverage a lot. Watch this. Watch what this play does to Mabel coverage. You get a lead block there. You make one juke, and you're out. It's a quick five, a quick three. It's what I call an inside flat route. What that means is the flat is inside. And it has a nice outside flat route leading the way up for it. So this little screen, I'm telling you, really, really, really good. Really, really effective. Um, if you haven't tried these little flip screens out of two back, they're really glitchy this year. You see, if you if you leave that play action on, what I like about it is if they don't, if they're not pass committing or they're not paying attention, you'll find that literally they will literally like it, it will literally glitch out the man coverage um one other thing that you might try doing is if you hit our trigger whoops i didn't get it right there if you hit our trigger with um right trigger with rogers once he's in the pocket just click it like that you see that it causes see that it causes the man-to-man -man coverage to kind of blitz down at him that's significant very very significant because you see, see right there, see how it causes them to come down? And I want to show you this in instant replay so you can see this. This is very, very important. So I'm literally just clicking right trigger like kind of one or two times when the running back, the mesh point of the running back handoff. So watch watch what happens to the linebackers. They're in man-to-man -man coverage. Watch this. See this? See both linebackers blitz? See that? And they think it's a run. Now, oh, I'm in man coverage, and look at how this picks it off. It picks off man coverage and you're out for a good 15 yards. It's simple reads like that to me that makes such a big difference. Um, now what we're going to do is man line and press. I just want to show you this real quick. Now if they pass commit, and I am pass committing here, watch this. See how he comes out. He jets out just fine. But you can still kind of fit it in there. So, you know, but if they're not pass committing, just something to kind of monitor. Okay. But anyways, um, the next uh, thing I wanted to show you was like cover three. So this, these little... Um, this little quick read right here is going to be really good for you, um, zone or man. It's a really, really good route. Now, if they run, let's say, and so what they'll start doing is they'll do something like this. I'll just say, well, I'm just going to go with a hard flat on the cover two. Well, this wheel route, pass lead that to the left, and this thing is going to torch that decision. I mean, literally is going to destroy it. Um, what you'll see here, if they're running that, that little hard flat type of strategy, just pass lead that wheel route up, click on. And you make one juke and you are in the end zone. Um, so they're not going to probably do that. But it's just so you're aware of it so you can beat it if you face it. Uh, and then the last thing is, honestly, guys, these this left side is just more of a check down read. Um, what I like about Williams' route is he kind of settle up, settles up. So what that's going to mean is you're going to be able to check down to the drag. You're going to be able to check down to this route to St. Brown. Um this, this thing, see how he kind of settles up right here? And then you can actually get another lead blocker if you wait for that drag to come across. This play torches zone coverage. Torches man coverage. What it really, really does, in my opinion, even better than all of those things is it destroys the blitz. 
people can't blitz this play. Like, if you, like, let me just show you. If you're facing a Dime 146 meta, right, watch this play. This is Dime 146. Oh, just flip it out, and you're off. And there's just nobody to defend it. If they blitz people, this play is going to destroy them. So, anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. If you guys want to get the full comprehensive ebook, you can click on that link in the description, Madden 21 Competitive Bundle Guide. That is going to uh, give you access to everything. Also, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with this scheme and you want me to come in and just kind of give you some personalized coaching sessions, I have those available as well. You can click the link in the description below. Thank you so much for your time, guys. If you haven't already joined my channel Discord, be sure to do that. A link to that is in the description. But this is a very, very solid play. But it's just one play of several plays that come from my Madden 21 Competitive's Guide. So pick it up today. It's on sale. You can pick it up in the description. You get both guides for $25. Thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you guys in our next YouTube video coming here in a little bit.